Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Team. Today, we have a really awesome guest, Minko Getchup. Minko, how you doing? Hey, doing pretty good today. Thanks. Good, good. So, uh, yeah, we're really uh, super excited to, to chat with you, and hopefully people get to know you a little bit better. Um, let's start with a couple of like, pretty basic questions about uh, who Minko is. Uh, let's, how about how you got into programming? Sure. Well, I was lucky to get into like school that was specializing in mathematics and like software development. Mm -hmm. So I got to implement a program in Pascal when I was maybe ninth grade. So I kind of started pretty late compared to some other folks. <laughs> uh, from there, <laughs> from there, I was also very fortunate to have a high school teacher who was really passionate about web development. So he taught me PHP, MySQL, and some JavaScript. And I started participating in competitions in software development, wow. which I did for like three years, I guess, in high school. Now, these competitions, are they organized like a triathlon? You code, and then you run, and then you do fencing? Or how does a competition <laughs> for programming work? What I liked there was that I was not constrained. There was no time constraint. So I was able to work on the project in my spare time. So I delivered a CMS system, let's say. That's, that was my go-to mm -hmm. project. And after that, I had to present it in front of a jury and a bunch of other attendees. It was pretty fun trying to hack one another's projects with SQL injections. Back then, that was the thing, <laughs> the night before the competition. So I had a lot of fun with this. Oh, well, that's cool. That's cool. All right. So uh, you've been programming for quite a while since you were young. Uh, do you know a lot of programming languages? I've experimented with a lot of them. Mm -hmm. I, it's hard, like, hard to say that I know them. <laughs> right, right. Uh, let's tell me, is there like a particular language that you, uh, have a lot of love for, even though you don't get to really use it anymore? Well, I guess, uh, Haskell is the one that people say, I, I'll confirm. Yeah. Haskell is pretty interesting, very yeah. theoretically interesting. Oh, hmm. huh. very cool. Very cool. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's talk about Angular. Uh, let's, let's just start off with the basics. Like what is your role in the Angular team? And then maybe tell us a little bit what your day-to-day -day work life is like sounds good yeah um i lead developer relations for the angular team so my day-to-day -day work is to meet with developers and uh, with other partners to figure out how we can make angular better this includes how we can update the roadmap so that it aligns with developers expectations figuring out partnerships how we can work better with other google developer products or products outside of google Conference talks once in a while. I decreased the number recently. Uh, writing some codes, doing prototypes. A couple of months ago, I was writing a lot of code around Angular DevTools since we shipped it. Mm. I'm still very highly involved in the project, but I'm not coding as much as I used to six months ago. Yeah, uh, I, what I love the most in my job is that I can organize my time in the way that it makes sense to me and for the product. Yeah, well, that's cool. That's really cool. All right. Um, well, let's give you a hard question. Okay. Uh, tell us your least favorite part of Angular. The actually, that's one of the biggest strengths strengths of Angular as well. The big API that it provides mm -hmm. it just makes things really hard for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have large scope, and even though we're providing a complete platform, sometimes we need to think so much about implications of changes that we're making. So right. that's a trade-off. Yeah, yeah, I get that. All right, so you've been to NGConf. How many times have you been? I think since 2015. So yeah, yeah haven't missed an NGConf since then. Awesome. Uh, do you have a favorite uh, memory from NGConf? My first NGConf, uh, that's just around the time I, I wrote my book and uh, I did a game on Twitter. So I was asking questions about the talks and whoever was answering this question first correctly, I was giving them a copy of my book. So I was really excited about that. But also wow. I launched my startup on NGConf when I think about it. Hmm. So I have a lot of favorite memories. Hmm. Also, I met so many folks there. Uh, yeah, so many memories actually, it's hard to pin one. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, uh, what are you looking forward to at the upcoming NGConf then? Oh, just seeing all these people I haven't had a chance to see over the past couple of years. Pretty excited, really excited about NGConf. 
can't wait to see all, everyone in person. Yeah, all my friends. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, let's uh, let's turn it just a little tad bit serious. Let's get a serious question in here. Let's talk about imposter syndrome. How do you deal with imposter syndrome? Uh, so I'm keeping track of some things that I have done over the years. And when I feel like an imposter, I'm trying to go back to achievements I have had in the past, trying to remind myself that I was feeling like an imposter in the time when I accomplished something and this didn't stop me from moving forward. I guess that's one of the things that uh, I'm trying to do, just remembering that if I have the time and the motivation, I'll be eventually able to catch up because right. there are, uh, it's a constant, like a, it's a very frequent feeling that I have at Google. There are a lot of great smart people in Google and working with them just makes me experience the imposter syndrome often. So yeah, trying to remind myself that putting the time in the, in the work uh, generally helps. That's really, that's really cool. That's a great, interesting answer. Keeping track of the things that you've uh, accomplished, keeping track of your successes and reviewing those. That's cool. All right. Well, let's uh, be a little bit more lighthearted for our last question. If you were not a programmer, what would you be? Astrophysicist. Yeah? Yeah. All like right. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. All right. Well, uh, <clears throat> now we're going to go into our lightning round. And in our lightning round, I'm going to give you um, uh, a bunch of like choices, A or B. And then you just pick one. No reason to give an explanation. You could pick both or neither if you really can't decide. Uh, but that's it. You ready to roll? Yeah. All right. This is going to be exciting. Okay. First the question, standard one, Kirk or Picard? Oh, the first one. Yeah. Kirk. Okay. All right. Uh, Ruby or Scala? Scala, for sure. Okay. Game of Thrones or Squid Game? Game of Thrones. I haven't watched the Squid Game. Hmm. Billie Eilish or Billy Joel? I don't know. Uh, neither. <laughs> neither. Okay. Uh, football or football? Like, you know, I have Bulgarian accent, so either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, manga or mangoes? Mangoes. Okay. Uh, Stranger Things or Lost? I haven't watched either, so I don't know. Mm. Veet or Webpack? <sighs> That's a hard one. I'll go with neither. <laughs> neither. Oh, okay. All right. Last one, dogs or cats? I'll go with dogs here. Dogs, okay. Awesome. Well, thanks, Minko. We really appreciate your time. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed getting to know Minko a little bit better. Looking forward to seeing Minko and all of you in person at NGConf later on this year.